now we are discussing the next type of serial transmission that is the synchronous transmission well we know that in the asynchronous transmission we are having the start and stop bit so those things are not there because the asynchronous the time was not a criteria but in the synchronous time is the criteria so now we are starting with this so we are discussing now is the synchronous transmission as the name signify synchronous anything is synchronous when we are having the time involved so here time is important means we have to do everything on the time we are not wasting the time of anybody here in the synchronous communication just like you have seen that many of the people give the example like your gmail is sync with your mobile your whatsapp is sync with your mobile meaning is that whenever on whatsapp some notification come that shows in your mobile immediately on the same time that's why it is called time is important and obviously if time is important it gives us the high speed data transmission because you know one thing if i am sending you the whatsapp message and you are getting it immediately so it is a high speed because your mobile is sync with your whatsapp and it will just give you the message immediately so obviously high speed is attained now thing is that here the sender send multiple character well you know that one character signify the one byte so multiple character means multiple bytes are sent together so here we are sending the multiple bytes or multiple characters together so this is the responsibility of the sender means i am not saying that i will send one character and i will wait no i am sending you continuously so that is my responsibility if i am the sender now same time the receiver means you receiver receive data until detect special ending character now your responsibility is to listen everything if i am the sender i am sending you continuously you have to hear everything continuously until i say okay bye bye so there is a special message i am sending you similarly in this transmission there is a special message or the character which is given to the receiver that yes now the transmission is over so this way the continuous transmission or the synchronous transmission work where we are not having the gaps in between so we can say that here we are having no gaps we are saying here no gaps but this is not practically possible that every time if i am sending the data and i am keep on sending to you and there will be no gap but here it is mentioned no gap so how the no gap is achieved see the first thing is that sender responsibility means my responsibility to send the data continuously without no gap but anyhow if any problem exist and i am not able to send for some seconds then those gaps will be filled with special sequence of 0 and 1 indicating ideal now meaning is that i am keep on sending the data to you but anyhow anything come if i am just teaching you say example i am sending all the data but say example some phone call come and i has to take some time in that case in synchronous transmission there is one deal between sender and receiver that some zero and one will come specially that will indicate that this is the ideal means transmission will not stop they will keep on sending zero and one sequence so that the receiver is aware that yes sender is going to send the data but yeah it is that it is due to some of the problem that is not able to send so that gaps are filled so practically there is no gap because those gaps are filled with the ideal signal so no gap is there now one more thing which is very important this synchronization is achieved by the data link layer and we know that the data link layer responsibility is the 
error detection and the correction so we can say that it is going to perform error detection because anywhere we are having the continuous transmission with the time and the synchronous transmission so obviously the errors should be removed if error is coming and we are waiting so that is not a synchronous so error should be detected so error detection is there and it used the cyclic redundancy check so error detection using crc well many of you are aware that crc is the cyclic redundancy check well we know that everything come with the bits 0101 okay so there are many formulas which are applied by error correction and the detection like hamming code crc so all these things we will learn but you assume that there is some kind of mechanism is there for error detection and that detection mechanism is cyclic redundancy check this is a separate topic i will discuss uh, some day when it will come so using that crc mechanism we are going to detect the errors and then these errors are reported and corrected also so these all things are done in the synchronous communication and this way we are going to send the data so what we have learned in the synchronous communication is we have to work with the time with the time we are having very high speed we are sending the data in the multiple character receiver is going to see the data and just process those data until they get a signal which is going to indicate that yes there is no further transmission one more thing there is no gap between the transmission if some gap come that is already filled with the ideal signal and there is error detection mechanism already involved so this is the synchronous transmission and now we are discussing their applications so now we are talking the advantages so talking about the advantage one thing we must know that it is having the high speed well why the high speed because we know that let us suppose that this is the sender and this one is the receiver and in the last time we have seen that the 8 bits indicate one character so this is one character another character so these all are the data so all the data characters they are moving dot dot means there are many more you can see that there is no gap in between these there is no gap so they are going to send the data continuously and one important thing is these data are merged and they are combined to frame so it is not character to character transmission that i am sending one character and waiting no all the data characters are merged and sending in the form of frame means they are continuously sending on the fast mechanism so from sender to receiver they are going to send it in the form of the frames so that's why there is a high speed we are achieving and we know that there is no gap no gap means you don't have to wait just like a keyboard i send you hello and you are waiting when the next message will come no i am keep on typing very fast so that is the advantage no gap there is no start and stop bit just like a synchronous transmission so obviously there is no extra bit no extra bit means no overhead so no extra bits are there so these are the advantages of the synchronous communication and now we are getting the applications so talking about the applications of synchronous communication the first application of the synchronous communication we are having is they are used for the fast voice band and broadband channels means whenever you have to send the data very fast means you are speaking very fast in that case or you are using the broadband channel broadband means just like in the asynchronous you use the narrow band narrow band means less data is transferred broadband means you have to send the data very fast multiple data should be transferred so there we have to use the synchronous communication and yes one more application which we are having is computer to computer means from my system to your system 
computer to communi computer communication that is done with the help of the synchronous communication only because if i talk about asynchronous there is not possibility that two computer can communicate because there is a high speed required between the computer so there the synchronous communication comes into the picture but yes there are few disadvantages also because we can see that many advantages are mentioned high speed no gap no extra bit but disadvantages are if i talk about the real time video conferencing video streaming that is not going to work because you know that in the video sharing or video transmission we have to send the complete data in constant frames let us suppose that you are watching a video on a youtube then all the many pictures are coming many photos are coming at the continuous speed so that is not done with the help of synchronous communication 